Hey there guys, back once again to explain to you exactly how a cylinder head works. A cylinder head is called a head because that's where the brain is. Uh, that's what controls the general function of the engine. That's what controls when the engine pulls air and fuel in. Um, also, it controls when the air and fuel are contained so they can ignite and combust, therefore uh, producing power. Um, and it all starts with this uh, bar right here, that's called the camshaft. All right, the camshaft is pretty much comprised of these bumps, which are called lobes. And they all have the same exact setup here. Um, they all have a bump. One bump, in this case right here, is going to be for the intake valve. The one right beside it is going to be for that exhaust valve. Um, and again, the intake valve, the one beside that, the exhaust valve, intake valve, exhaust valve. This, in case you haven't figured it out yet, guys, is a three-cylinder head for a Geo Metro. But it doesn't matter whether you've got a three-cylinder a four-cylinder, a six-cylinder, or an eight-cylinder. They all work exactly the same. Um, well, not exactly the same. There's some variations. But they all have the same general principle. And the purpose of this video is just to give you a general idea for, for those of you who don't know how it works. As the uh, camshaft turns, all right, the lobe will press down that valve right there, okay? As that valve is compressed, as you can see, the intake valve opens, letting the fuel and air mixture into the cylinder. Okay? Let me go ahead and turn it the other way. Now, of course, this is going to be turning in one direction, but for the purpose of the video, I'm going to turn this in the opposite direction. Let me put this down for a minute so I can get a good grasp on this. So I can get you the exhaust valve. There we go. All right. And there we have the exhaust valve being open. With that lobe right there, pressing down that valve, to therefore open up the exhaust. And the one right beside it, right there, the intake, the lobe is now pointing away from the valve, therefore releasing the uh, pressure, therefore closing it. And that's pretty much how it works. It just goes through this cycle, the intake cycle, pulling in the air, all right, the compression cycle is pretty much going to be in a state like this, where the lobes aren't pressing down the, uh, the intake lobe, nor the exhaust lobe is pressing down, therefore causing both of these valves to remain closed. That's going to be your, your compression cycle. That's when the piston comes up, compresses your air and fuel mixture and ignites it. So for that purpose, it has to stay closed. All right, and the exhaust cycle, uh, which is the last step I showed you, is when the lobe, eg eg uh, the exhaust lobe, compresses the exhaust valve, therefore releasing the exhaust gases. Well, I hope it wasn't uh, too confusing there. I'm not exactly a teacher here, but... Um, I'm pretty much self-taught, and I figured if any of you guys out there were curious about all, how all this stuff works, this might come in handy for you. Okay, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, go ahead and ask. Thank you. Bye.